The Brainerd Girls basketball team finished last season with a record of 5-17. and 17. Tonight, we take a look at what the Warriors have to offer this season. In a word, this season's version of Brainerd basketball is youthful. The Warriors roster names only two seniors and the team contains only two returning starters. I like that we're all pretty young, but we are going to be able to work really hard. Hard work could be enough to earn a starting spot. With only three practices gone, Coach Brian McAllister is far from announcing a lineup. They're young. They haven't had any varsity experience, so it's some days it's going to look really good, and then some days it's going to look like, oh boy. A season-ending injury to 6'3 forward Teddy Ramberg has left the Warriors undersized and looking to their speed to make up the difference. We're a lot faster. I think we'll be able to fast break a lot and run up and down the court. McAllister plans on using that speed to set defensive traps for the opposition. In order to set up the press, the team has to score. Shooting has been a major emphasis for the Warriors during the offseason. This is the second day of practice, so we haven't had too much time to really watch, but they definitely look like they're improving. Creating shooting chances is just as important as shooting. The guard play is the definite strength of this small and speedy squad. And I would say I have five guards that I can play varsity where they can all handle the ball pretty decent. They're all decent shots. In addition to excellent guard play, the team wants to prove the bigger or more experienced team does not always win. I'm excited to show people that we're going to be a quick team and we're going to be good shooters. The Warriors are on the run and they are freakishly fast. The Warriors will open the season when they host the Girls Varsity Jamboree November 24th. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.